welcome to my youtube channel this morning returning subscribers thank you very much and those who are new here thank you very much for watching welcome now and today i'm gonna show you how to cook the tea on the stove i've had so many times that uh people been asking me why do you have tea with boiled milk or stuff like that just that the kenyan way because they make their tea on the stove and they boil the milk and then put in the tea leaves so join me in making my tea on the stove i hope you love this and early morning thank you we first start putting water on the stove about one cup because it's only me who takes the tea in here this kind of tea and cut off my water I put this water on the stove cut on my stove and let the water boil some people let the water boil and some people put in the tea straight. I don't have the tea leaves that we put in the water. I'm going to use a tea bag today. So I'll get a tea bag here. I'm using this tea bag. I'm sorry, I can't show you which name. I'm just going to use a tea bag because I do not have uh, the normal tea we use from Kenya. But we still have those kind of teas in the stores, whereby they're not in the tea bags. So for this tea, I'm just going to use black tea. Here it is. I just lay it in there. As the water is heating up. Then I got some milk here. I got a gallon of milk. I always use whole milk. You can use any milk that you want. Some people prefer 2%. Some people prefer 1%. Some people prefer no, no milk at all. So it depends on your choice and what you like. I use whole milk. Some people say whole milk, they have stomach upset. But for me, it doesn't bother me. So I prefer using whole milk. So I'll use that. But if it bothers you, you can try the 1%, the 2%, or no milk at all. So I'm just putting in a little bit milk. And you have to do the proportion of the water. Some people like like light milk and some people will also use cold milk where they put it in the cup but i don't do the cold milk in the cup this is how i was raised this is how it was done and i let this tea boil after i put in my milk so keep uh, tuned as we wait for the tea to boil up actually i use the tea just about every morning every morning before i go to work I have a cup of tea and sometimes in the evening I do a cup of tea. I'm so much in love with tea and it's becoming like an addiction of tea. So for now I'm doing tea as of my breakfast and then I have my pot here. I want to make some chicken sausages. This is just a by the side but the main purpose of this video today is tea. But I'm going to do some chicken sausages on the other pot. So when I try that. So I got my pot over there and I just put like medium heat. That is for the sausages. I like spraying my pan a little bit with some cooking spray. I don't use that heavy or liquid or oil for the things like sausage and egg. So I'll do that and I have my chicken sausages here. And since you know I'm fixing for my people breakfast too, so I'm going to do like six. These are actually chicken sausage links. I'm sorry, I'm taking too much time. I have to hold the camera on the other hand. So I'm going to do that and just put low heat and let that cook. Meanwhile, our tea is right here. We're waiting for it to so i'm gonna use the chicken sausages as my protein this morning i'm gonna use the milk just as a beverage and coming here i'm gonna try and do uh the waffles i like these thick and fluffy blueberries i don't know who else likes these waffles let me know so i'm putting it in my toaster i just do that i do nothing i like mine a little bit tender and hard put in four and study so as my waffles are cooking, and you know also women uh, empowerment, you don't have to stay too long in the kitchen for simple things like breakfast. You can do one, 
three things at one time as you see i've started the chicken on one end i've started the tea and i've started the waffle so there are three things cooking at the same time so it took it will take you like five to ten minutes you're done by fixing breakfast so let's see how our tea is doing here pretty much good as you can see the sausages have started cooking I'll go ahead and pull out this tea bag because I don't want it too strong. As you can see, the tea is, is, ch is changing. I don't want it too strong because, as you know, blood pressure problems, you don't want that. Too much caffeine in your system. And my chicken sausages are coming out pretty quick. And some people, I, I think they deep fry the sausages. That's good too. But I'm trying to avoid using too much fat. So I just sprayed the pan and dip a little bit of the oil and you know they'll be cooking slow it's just as good and you know most of these sausages come fully cooked they're frozen but they're already fully cooked so what i'm doing is basically like just heating them a little bit and that will be fine my tea is coming up well because you can see it started boiling i let it boil for another minute and then it's time to serve it I like my tea hot. I don't know how I do it, but I like my tea hot. I take it hot. I, I've been doing that since I was three years old. So it's not something new to me. You know, I don't feel like I'm getting burnt. <laughs> don't the sausages look yummy? Awesome. Look at that. And my tea here is ready. already cut it off. Now what I'll do, you know, I, I, I take sugar. I know some people take tea without sugar. As I said from the beginning, it's up to how you like it. This is my cup here. I'm going to put, I like like one and a half teaspoons of sugar. My tea is ready now. I've got my little uh, sugar container here. I'll do that. Now sugar you have to take depending on what you want. That's one. I take one and a half. But some people do a lot of sugar. Some people do no sugar at all. My tea has to have a little bit of sugar. Then I do that. Then, sometimes, you know, when you leave the tea too long from the pot, it gets dry, so the top dries. So I always just use that sieve and take it so that my tea cannot have the dry milk on top. And you can see, you pour it, and that's, I'm telling you, girl, that's the Kenyan way, or whoever is watching, that is the Kenyan way. If I'm by myself, I don't need a teapot or a kettle. Because it's only one cup, I just do it direct. Save your dishes, save your water, and do that. That is the tea. You should try this. This is really nice. And people think that when you boil the milk, it's nasty and all that. But I really like how it is. So you just save your tea. This is the traditional way of doing stuff. And that you have nice, yummy tea. There you go. That's my tea. Look at that. It's ready actually to drink. I drink it just the way it is hot. But please be careful. If you can't drink hot stuff, make sure it's the right temperature that you want to. And then here are my waffles, as I said. You know, I always put my things all together. I've got my tongs here. And I get my waffles from my toaster. Nice and yummy. Easy. In total time. It won't be more than 10 minutes. And I put it here. Now for these waffles, some people put butter on it. And some people just go ahead and eat it straight up. Because of the fat, I try to reduce. But sometimes I put butter then put in the microwave on top of the waffle. Or sometimes when I want it hard like that because I'm trying to avoid sugar. Uh, I'm trying to avoid a lot of fat. Because once I put butter on it, that's an, uh, some more fat. But you can put butter on it to, for them to make them softer. But I like mine hard, so I'm not going to put butter and put it extra in the microwave. So here is my syrup. This is waffle syrup or pancake syrup. You can use on the pancake too. Just put it a little bit syrup, but this is too... It's, it's got a lot of sugar. So people with sugar problems, please, just use according to what, how you like it. Now, on the other hand, 
my sausages are ready too as you can see as you can see i put uh spraying uh fat on it so it has excess uh, fat on it so what i do here is a paper towel i put i like drying mine a little bit i'll take like two sausages that's all i can handle the rest i can leave it for family and put it away the paper towel is just for me to get the a little extra fat on see that then put on my plate see now you have your waffle and if you have fruit great or something to add on you can add on so i would have done an egg but i don't feel like eating egg normally i'll do egg on the side but remember the intention of this video today was to give to show you how to make the tea and here's the tea then making the eggs or diff cooking different way of eggs i'll show you another time that's for another video otherwise if you like this video give us a thumbs up returning subscribers thank you very much and if you like it also comment share and let me know how you make your tea and if it's straight up if it's cold milk share in the comments please subscribe thank you very much bye